Welcome everyone to Big Tony's Garage and Metalworks. Today we're going to be working on something a little different. I'm gonna be making a little creature, a little dog, okay? I already made one right here. You will see the dog that I made for my godson and now it's time to make one for my goddaughter, okay? So I'm gonna do uh, a dog as well, but it's, hers is gonna be a little different. It's gonna be smaller, you know? It's gonna be the only piece, it's gonna be special because it's one of a kind, okay? Nobody else is gonna have that. This is handmade. You can't buy it, you know, like at your regular stores, at your Targets, at your Walmarts, at your whatever store you want to, you know, you won't find it because it's going to be unique. And it's made out of my tools that I've uh, accumulated over time. You know, sometimes the, the tools, they end up getting messed up. They end up breaking, uh, or the case may be, or, you know, sometimes people donate tools. So if you have any tools, reach out to me that you don't want anymore. Scrap metal, small pieces, big pieces, let me know. I might use it for my projects. So that's what I'm doing here today. Okay, so I'll show you real quick. I already took the liberty of cleaning these up for you. Okay, I ended up uh, getting these pieces. Like I was saying earlier, uh, I got these screws and these uh, hex wrenches. I got these from uh, a Facebook marketplace ad that I put on for materials. Uh, free that I, if they you know wanted me that I make metal art basically and and I you know so people reached out to me and basically I this hammer was a part of that deal too so this is gonna be the head this is a brake a brand new brake pad that I didn't use for another vehicle that I owned so I'm going to uh, this is gonna be the body okay and then I'm gonna attach the head to it right on top and then this other piece is gonna be the ears all right, so these are, uh, I'm still figuring out how I'm gonna bend these. Uh, they're gonna go on top of the head, obviously. These bolts came with that deal too, and I'm going to be welding them to the top of the head, right? And then these are gonna be just like joints, connectors to this and that, you know, or they might be the like the actual uh, paws, right? I'm thinking about that. I have another, another two nuts that I could grab for that. And then believe it or not, I'm gonna, out of these pieces, I'm gonna make a small little dog, okay? I'm also gonna be uh, going through my piles that I have of uh, different materials and I'm gonna be getting a spring for the tail. I'm gonna do it like that other video. Check out my Instagram page. You will see I made one for my godson out of three horseshoes and I put it together and I used a hammer too, but it, I use a different kind of hammerhead. Uh, you know, the one that, you know, the, to pull out the nails, the one that has the, on the back to pull out the nails. So I use that kind of hammer. Anyways was cleaning this piece it was all rusty you know just something to you know catch the attention so anyway sit back enjoy my video and i'm going to start working on my project all right
Go ahead, boys and girls. <clears throat> it's not obviously not finished yet, but didn't like the way that the that the body came out. So I'm not sure if I could fix that. I might go with a different body, and what I mean the body is a curve right here. It's gonna look a little different like this if I put that on there, but I'm still still debating. Okay, so let me keep working on this. See what I come up with. All right, boys and girls. Uh, finished with my goddaughter's little dog <clears throat> so basically i changed my mind if you saw the last video or actually this same video but if you see the piece what i made now is i moved the eyes up to the top i think it looked cooler and the ears i moved them down to the bottom this is a handle for a for cement actually to mold cement and i've changed the body didn't look right this looks a little better now as you can see i still have to uh attach or another up put some paws in the front to make these in the back for the back legs and this is supposed to be like the i don't know like the hips of the dog i guess the spoon uh, it still needs to be clean obviously the whole thing i'm gonna clean this handle really nicely and i'm going to stain it with some stain but as you can see i still have to put the back tail here i'm gonna attach the little wires that can make the dog you know shake so basically this is the dog that i was making the other day this is like three or four days ago a little bit of daylight left so i'm not quite finished yet uh, i still have to clean it like i said you can see the wells the uh, spot wells you can see all the splatter because it's it's not uh, argon gas weld it's the one that's built into the wire and those people know what i'm talking about it's basically like arc welding i changed them these are supposed to be the hind legs and these are the top legs but i think this looks a little better it looked a little different now it looks a little bit more comical and then these are like i said these are like the like the hips you could even see me cleaning off all the dust on my fingers here hold it with your hand move it around so that's basically it here's the little dog i'll bring it back and i'll show it to you uh but i think it, it came out nice okay i'm gonna there's a chemical that i'll put on here to make it shiny once it's all nice and clean and then this will be the final Thank you for joining me again. I finished it finally. You can see the paws that I made for it, all right? Put some paws in the back too. I moved the hips. This is one thing that I also did. I moved the hips up. You know, if you remember, they were facing this way and I put them up like this. And uh, I put a tail on it, all right? So my most of my videos, you know, you will see that I make interactive pieces and this is the tail, right? So you could, it's interactive, it's set right i did a little bit of everything touching it up i put this little like a ring two little pieces that i had for the illusion that it's got a collar on and uh, it's stained right now i put that penetral liquid on it i still have to put the handle but i think the handle is going to be fine there it is the final product thank you for joining me please like and subscribe if you like my videos like i said again this is Big Tony, Big Tony's Garage and Metalworks. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy my work. It was fun making this thing. And as you can see also, I'm gonna walk over here. I stained my godsons. This is the one that I had made for him too. You can see right there. My motorcycle, I stained it too. So this one's ready to go. I engraved his name just like my goddaughter's look I put his name at the back right there. Just in case, you know, he doesn't know whose it is. Okay, right? there it is. Alright, Chewy. Come on, let's go inside. Come on. Come on, Chewy. Oh, you wanna go this way? Alright, come on. We'll put you in there. Alright.